Good morning. This is a trial balloon that Nancy Pelosi and Democrats are floating, and the balloon is not going to get off the ground. Historians and constitutional scholars agree. As you mentioned, Sean, the 25th Amendment was originally sculpted to deal with presidential health. It was based on informal agreements that past presidents had, notably President Eisenhower turning over the powers of acting president to Vice President Nixon on two occasions when he had serious health problems. The 25th Amendment, passed in 1967, made it all part of the law. When a president is incapacitated, uh, mentally or physically, the vice president acts as president until the crisis is over. It has never been invoked in that way and certainly never brought about forcefully. Vice President Pence has voiced his reluctance to use it, and in addition, it would raise questions about the president's health, something that has not come up before in the process. Put another way, the 25th Amendment can't be invoked because of a political disagreement or one does not like the person in the White House. I might add that the it requires more than half the cabinet to sign off before the 25th Amendment is invoked. This is problematic because there are at least three vacancies and only acting cabinet members at the time. My guess is there'll be a robust debate on this today, but in the end, they'll move to phase two, which is impeachment. Back to you.